Games have been a lifelong interest of mine, you know, ever since I was a kid. We got our first computer when I was about five or six. I mean, it wasn't really until high school um, when I did a program at the local junior college that I started thinking about it more seriously as a creative medium. While I was unemployed, I started kind of exploring and looking at, you know, what could be done on the web. Um, and that turned into a website called The Lair of the Marrow Monkey. So I just published it and thought, okay, I, I did this site and it was something I thought was cool. Um, but started to get noticed, and I heard from the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art who said they wanted to add it to their permanent collection, which kind of blew me away. I didn't think anybody was adding websites to permanent collections. That whole process it was an entree into this world of kind of net art and interactive art. You know, started to see there were lots of people, you know, in the Bay Area and here and in New York who were trying to do interesting things on the artistic side. Strange Rain, the concept of the app is that you're looking through your iPad and it's as if it's a skylight on a rainy day. So you're seeing rain fall out the screen, raindrops hitting the screen, and, and you're able to interact with that. And the idea really came from, I went back to when the iPad came out, a bunch of my prototypes that I had from pieces in the mid-90s or so, and was really just looking for things to mine and see what might make sense for an app. So within a weekend, I kind of put together a really basic prototype of that. And as soon as I got it set up so that when you tilted the device, it changed perspective, it kind of came alive at that point, and I realized there's something here that's worth exploring. My biggest influence is music. You don't have to know anything about music to enjoy it, and yet if you do know something about it, you can get more enjoyment out of it. I think of games as instruments, you know, something that is constrained, it has a particular idea or set of things it wants to get across, um, but there, you can also perform it in a lot of different ways. Frank Lance at Indicate a couple years ago said, a game is the creative treatment of interactivity, and that feels to me like a great definition. For me, I, I, it's less important whether people think something is art than what they get out of the experience. My interest is in kind of trying to take people to a place that lets them see the life they're living from a new perspective. There's so many more things that are possible now than there were kind of when I started out that I think the possibilities have far exceeded our ability to kind of explore them, especially with regards to input. For a long time, we were so constrained by mouse and keyboard, you know, and now these new technologies that just makes things possible that weren't possible before. I think probably my favorite thing in the gaming industry right now is that it's so open. There is this thriving independent community where there's lots of things that are coming through that surprise me when I see things that people are working on. It's interesting to see that some of the, the big names take on an interest in the indie scene. The very fact that there is a thing called indie games, they understand that that's a category now. You know, that to me is what's, what's most exciting.